okay. So a lot of people sort of like think multi-pitch climbing is very complex and that the belays are totally different. But actually the belay for a single pitch climb is very much the same as a belay for a multi-pitch climb. And so if you can go single pitch climbing, all you've got to do, it's, it's just like a series of single pitch routes stacked up on top of each other. And, and this belay would work on a single pitch climb or a multi-pitch climb. Nice. It's good that, isn't it? Yeah, excellent. So, if I want to make Steve safe on this ledge really quickly, the easiest way to do is get a big armful of loop and tie a knot there. You can't, you know, you can just about step off that ledge, but he's still into the same belay point. And it's just a very quick and easy way to make Steve safe. So um, Steve's going to take over leading now. Rather than pass him the wires, and there could be a problem where he drops them as, I, as he goes to grab hold of them, what I'm going to do is clip all my wires and my entire rack to one of these ropes so Steve can take them off here. So if, when he drops my entire rack of cams down the crag, it's his fault and not mine. The reason I have them inwards is because they're easier to get off in a hurry. I get more frightened than Mark does, so I like to get my gear quickly. So when Steve goes above me, I've actually got this BLA plate on the wrong way around. So what I've done is I've clipped that loop in there so I can actually just jiggle this round a little bit. All that way. You ready to go, Steve? Yep, good to go. So now when Steve goes above me, the red rope is on the right-hand side and the blue rope is on the left-hand side. So what I had before was the rope's the opposite way round. So there was a twist in, which can sometimes cause problems when we're leading higher up. So in order to protect myself and the belay, I'm going to put a runner in as soon as I can um, and clip the rope through it so that we're both protected. So the reason that Steve's getting this first early runner in is that if he didn't and he fell off and there was no runner, he could potentially go past me and all of the um, impact is taken by me and the belay. Whereas as soon as he gets this first runner in, the impact goes onto the first runner and not the belay. So there's less chance of having sort of a, a one-off, all-off situation because in essence, he's put this runner in to protect this belay and protect me. It's called a factor two fall, in that if Steve didn't have this runner in and he fell from up there, he would go to the same distance below me. So he's falling twice the length of the rope out. A, that creates a massive force. But the other thing is, is when I'm belaying Steve as a leader, I lock off down. When I was belaying Steve up, I locked off up. So the moment that Steve takes a factor two fall and goes below me, my instinct when he's leading is to lock off down. But actually, as soon as he passes me, I actually have to lock off up. And people that have factor two falls, the B layer often ends up with really bad rope burns where the rope slides through because they haven't been able to lock the rope off. And so it's this early runner might seem fairly innocuous, but it's really important to get in.